Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest, and this is our third rematch of the evening. And I am joined by yet another legend, but this has to be described as a super legend, mm. Ernesto Hoost. Man, it always is an absolute honor to Thank meet you. you and commentate with you. So Thank thanks you. for being here. Yeah. And we've had two incredible fights to start the evening. Yeah, um, we saw some great fights already. Real and, uh, good kickboxing. Yeah. And good level. And our next contest here is in the same rules, full, essentially full contact, which is K1 rules. Your speciality, my friend. Yeah. Um, now, this is a rematch, mm -hmm. and Levin Garuli from Georgia is coming for revenge. Yes. Um, Dragomir Petrov, Bulgarian, fighting in his home country. He won last time, and he yeah. has an impeccable Senshi record. Ten wins and just one loss inside the Senshi ring, fighting out of the blue corner. So let's see what happens from the opening bell. Yeah, I like I like uh, Petrov a lot as a fighter. He's a technical. He's uh, he has a, he has speed. He has power. And um, and super fit. He keeps going all fit. three rounds. Yeah. But Guruli also doing good. So. Garuli there just stepping back, taking the shots on his arms. And it's very interesting with these rules. Only three rounds, so you it's very difficult to find your range of your opponent without committing yourself. Well, it is it is three rounds, so you have to do everything within the three rounds. And I mean it was then it was like that uh, at some point uh, in K1. Mm. And uh, yeah. Everybody uh, Almost everybody does it like that now nowadays. That was a lovely left hook to the body there from Petrov. Yeah. But well defended. Yeah. Yeah, he's so explosive with his hands. Yeah, 70 kilos these guys. Mm -hmm. But Petrov there showing real power. Yeah. And I think it's deceptive. Mm -hmm. You think uh, these guys only 70 kilos. I mean, that's mm -hmm. 30 kilos less than than me and probably you, yourself, 30 kit, but they throw bombs. Well, that's uh, maybe also the, the advantage of being that light. Uh, you are, um, it, it is easier to, uh, to to twist your body and, and, make, and make a hard move, mm. I think. And G Garuli do something, does something what I like a lot from Southpaw fighters, he kicks, he kicks the rear leg. Uh-huh, so the leg, the rear leg of Petrov is the leg that he's attacking. Well, I, I saw him doing it a few times already, and it, it's a big advantage for the South Pole fighters to kick the rear leg because, because most of the, of the orthodox fighters are used to defend with their left leg, but uh -huh. they're not used to defend, with their, to defend with their right leg. And in fact, you versus Jerome Labana comes to mind. When you're mentioning no, that. when no? I mean, when it happened to me first time is when I fought with Andy Hook in the '96. He kicked me to my right leg a few times, and it took it, it, it took. Now he did it again. Uh, it took a, it took a while before I realized. Oh shit! He kicks on my re on my right leg. <laughs> I have to defend. But then he gave me already three or four kicks. Uh huh. And it didn't hurt me, but. I started to do it too sometimes, standing southpaw and kicking the, the left leg. Now he, he does it again. And, and Petrov hasn't defended yet. I mean, of course, Petrov is the, is the attacking fighter. Is, is the, 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 the fighter that's coming forward. And I, I think he wins the, run, the round also. Yep. But uh, Garuli hit him a few times with a left low kick. Yeah. And Petrov didn't, didn't defend it. But it's going to so, give Petrov something out of the ordinary to think about. Maybe. Upset his rhythm, perhaps, yep. but, but I'll agree with you. Yep. Petrov's punches, mm -hmm. especially his left hand, were the more damaging shots in that yep. round. For sure, very explosive. Um, a great work rate from both guys. Yeah. And it, it appeared to me, and mm -hmm. I don't know what, Garuli was taking some shots on the gloves, yeah. trying to work out the range, uh -huh. and well, I mean, you can't you can't use three rounds to tire your opponent out, but um, but yeah, I would give that first round to uh, Dragomir Petrov from yeah, Bulgaria. Me too. me too, and and Garuli has to try to win this round 
because if he doesn't then it will become very difficult for him and he will have to knock him out or down yeah and actually and you say knock him out or knock him down but petrov mm -hmm. appears to be the fighter with more power yeah so an Two. intriguing match there's a nice high kick yeah. from petrov that was that flowed beautifully yeah. a good middle kick from Garuli. nice straight punches there spinning back fist from petrov yeah. good move he's very explosive and quick when he yeah. wants to be yeah he is Liver punch. And Petrov's confidence has risen here after that first round. Yeah, he, he knows he's in 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 in, in front on, on on points. He must know that, he must feel that. And Garuli, yeah. Garuli's always waiting. But now he makes a There's beautiful kick. low kick, yes. Exactly what you said, and that was poetry it's emotion. Difficult, it's difficult to defend. He should he should do that more. To hurt to hurt Petrov more, to uh, slow him down. Yep. Here, now. So he got him he got him three times and and Petrov didn't defend him one even one time. No. Nice left hook there from Petrov at the end of that combination. Yeah. Boom, there, body yeah. shot downstairs I, and upstairs. Yeah, I love the way he's so explosive, and uh, I think he should do it even more, putting more power, putting more, um, um, pressing his opponent more. Yeah, there's that kick again that yeah. you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, good left. And Petrov's round. accuracy is great, isn't it? It is. It is. But Garuli is working more in this in this round, so that's good to see. I would still give the round to Petrov, but the difference is not that big anymore. And here again, the low kick. Yes. So he got already. I think he got five low kicks already. It makes you wonder. It looks like Garuli. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know if he's a little bit frustrated. Uh, he doesn't look like he's scared of getting hit, but it looks no. like he's got much more to give. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really think, like you say, he's, he's not giving enough. He should put more, more pressure. He should make it far more difficult for, for Petrov. Because he's doing quite good. But I still think Petrov is the one who's making the fight. Yeah, and all the time Garuli's not throwing anything. It's giving Petrov the opportunity to unload. Exactly. Exactly. Well, end of the second round. End of the second round, more equal. But I still think the judges give it to uh, give it to Petrov. Yeah, Petrov there, two rounds to zero on my card. Ernesto agrees. We're not the judges. So no. that's just our opinion. Yes. Um, but in this third and possibly final round, mm -hmm. Garuli, Levan Garuli from Georgia has got it all yeah. to do. And he needs to throw caution to the wind yeah. and come out with all guns blazing. Exactly. He's got the tools. He's got the tools. Uh, his hands are quite good. Uh, his legs are good. But they have to, he has to use them more. And commit. And commit, exactly. Keep the pressure and everything. But but Petrov is very, very uh, experienced. So uh, and his shots are so quick. Yeah. He's very accurate. dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. But this is where timing is so important at this level. Yeah. You can have it power. Is. You can have stamina. Mm -hmm. But timing means so much. Yeah. And we watch Petrov here. We'll watch him throw a combination. And I think every time he's thrown a body shot, it's been the final shot of, of that combination. Yeah, it is. So perhaps Garuli is going to take a combination, wait for that body shot, boom, mm -hmm. and then unload. Yeah. But it's easier said than done when you're inside the, the ring. <laughs>
<laughs> for sure. when, and when for you're in sure. the commentary table. Yeah. Well, I think I think Garuli got uh, heard from his corner that he has to kick the inside the the, <laughs> the right leg more, but now he missed and he hit the wrong spot uh, and hit the middle leg. Yeah. Right. So he's looking, Garuli's looking more aggressive. I think but he's he got to be more aggressive. Yes. I think he knows he's behind on point. So he has to work. And it makes you wonder sometimes, look, mm -hmm. at this level, mm -hmm. if you know you're behind in that third and final round, would you go out on a suicide mission and think, listen, if I'm going to lose, I'm going out on my shield. I'm going to give it everything. Maybe it's, it's very de difficult to do. It's de it depends on what's on what's on stake. And um, for example, it's a world championship. I would give it all. The K1 Grand Prix World Champion Final. I would give it all. Yeah. But uh, I don't know uh, if it if it's important enough for him. But, but Petrov, Petrov has a good name, so it's it's good to beat somebody like him. But didn't you enter every single contest mm -hmm. feeling like it was a world championship? Yes, I did. So most of the time I would, and I would, and I would feel even if a fight would not go the way I would like to, I would try to put the pressure as much as possible. Yes. Now Karuli has shown yeah. more aggression in this round this round he's doing a lot better and petrov and he he threw uh, he 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 made the, the the low kick to the right leg also a few times and petrov didn't defend it one time and you see his movement there garuli's movement was great he just stepped out a uh, bit of lateral movement yeah. Yeah. now it's start to become a fight and the crowd the are going minute. crazy here last half minute it's becoming a real fight they go for it now now the gum shield there came out of Garuli. I don't think that was intentional. You know, we've seen no, fighters do that so. to grab a little breather, but I don't think that was the case. No. No. Oh, beautiful middle kick. And the pace is outstanding here. 70 kilos. Oh. Lovely punches yeah, from both fighters. Good right hand from Garuli. Wow, the end of the third and final round, a bit of sportsmanship at the end there, great well, to see. Petrov looked a little bit frustrated, but he, uh, he uh, put himself together. And, uh, and we'd have liked to have seen Garuli with that aggression exactly. earlier in the fight. Exactly, exactly. So, let's go out on a limb and give our prediction. I don't think it will be that surprising for the guys at home. I'm going to give it three rounds to Petrov. But saying that, full credit to Garuli, who I just yeah. feel gave... He, he got into the fight too late. Yeah. Um, it, could be, it could be a 30-28. Uh, but uh, I think it's a 30-27. Are you enjoying yourself tonight? And again, I said this in the last match, you know, mm -hmm. you can lose, but if you lose an absolute war, you shouldn't go home with your head held low. I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 because I just don't like to lose. No. But I know what you mean. If you know you give it all, you gave it all, and your opponent did it better, then, and yeah, you have to have you peace, have peace yeah. with that. But there's a difference between losing to the better Just man or, or not performing 30, as well as you could have done, no. and then you've given your opponent the win. Just exactly. Exactly. 30, 28. 30, 28. 30, 28. And Judge 3, 29 to 28 in favor of a unanimous decision. What a blue corner. And listen to the crowd, Ernesto, the home fans cheering their boy on. Hometown favourites. Dragomir Petrov wins the rematch here at Century 19. And Levin Karuli 
obviously disappointed. A great performance, but he got into the fight a little bit too late. And I hope we see him back in the century ring again. And yeah. I can't wait to see Dragomir Petrov's next opponent. You're very right. I say goodbye to you for now. Maybe yep. I'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see <laughs> yes. you soon. Yes. Back in the commentary desk. As we wait for our next contest. What an evening, ladies and gentlemen. Three fights down. Legends around the ring judging. Legends in the ring refereeing. Legends here with me, ringside commentating. As I said at the beginning, it's an absolute celebration of kickboxing and martial arts. And okay. what we like to uphold here at Senchi is the Budo ethic. Respect, Fantastic honor, and sportsmanship. Team.